everybody, it's Dylan, and I am back for the first time in a long time with a Let's Play of Supergiant Games' newest game, Pyre. Uh, Supergiant Games is the same studio that did Bastion and Transistor, both of which I'm a huge fan of, and I've been anticipating this game very highly uh, since its original announcement, and now it's here. And I get to play it, and you get to watch me play it, and I get to play it with you, and everyone wins. It's gonna be a good time. All right, so uh, let's get into it. This is so exciting. I love the art already. It's so dichotomous and vibrant, and I think it's hand drawn. Definitely looks like it might be hand drawn, or at least mostly hand drawn. And that, that cart has kind of like a, a banner saga look to it. Your days in the downside brought slow, lonesome agony. Now, as you lie yielding to the elements, something rumbles into view. Three shapes emerge, each clad in strange attire. Move cruiser here. Oh, okay. Downside, a vast purgatory into which the Commonwealth casts its convicts and its enemies. Okay, cool. We tell you. Hmm. Another piece of filth expelled from the Commonwealth. See? Right on schedule. What did I tell you? You told us we would find someone alive. S someday! I said we'd find someone alive someday, just not today, I guess, but don't be glum. You know I see you frowning underneath that mask. Looks like he's breathing. Mask wanderers presume your rail. Interact to change the- Okay, that's just cool. Super enough. It seems he still is. Then stand aside. I shall send him to a better place. He, he's, a, he's a he? Can, can you people just tell? Hang on. The markings on his rags. I think he's one of them. But look at him. He's beyond our help, and we are beyond his. Broken, shaking, starving, possibly diseased. Yeah, good luck with that there, chum. I'll see you back at the wagon. <laughs> Indeed, the day grows dim. You have, at best, an hour. Understood. I won't be long. After the others leave, the man turns, turns towards you and begins unfastening his mask. <laughs> Hello, my friend. Don't care who you are or what you did, none of that matters anymore. All of us, we're equal nothings here. You are parched, and he gives you drink. You ache, and he binds your wounds. You hunger, and he gives you food. Little by little, it helps. There. Turns out you're tougher than you look. Name's Hedwin. Now, come on. You sense no ill intent as he helps you up and leads you to an old black wagon. Nothing like the stately vessels that paraded Commonwealth criminals through alabaster streets. Multiple of ethnic groups, okay. Headwind beckons you to enter the black wagon. Okay, so I, if I had another choice, I could choose another choice. Oh, damn, God, the art, it's so good. The weather-beaten wagon is much, the weather-beaten wagon is as much a mess inside as out. You see the masked woman and the talkative creature taking stock of ancient looking books. I'm back. And with a guest, she loosens the clasps on her mask. You may call me Jodariel. Jesus Christ, all right. And as for myself, the small one struggles with his mask. Jodariel soon assists him. Ah, oh, uh, that is to say, you may regard me by the name of Rookie Greentail. Smallest yet the loudest. Dude, check his stash. That shit is legit. Such pleasantries out of the way. The horned woman then motions to the others. She glances at you sidelong as she speaks. Can he do it? Hope so. I haven't asked him yet. What? Oh, well, then what are we waiting for? Hey, chum. Nice meeting you and all, but uh, tell me something. You know how to read or what? Asking if you are a reader. One who can try. Oh, literacy is permitted. Hell yeah, I'm a reader. You confirm their suspicions. There's no use trying to hide it now. Well then, glory days! Because it just so happens, my associates and I, we got ourselves some nice material here for someone just like you. Reader, 
You still live thanks to us. We ask for something modest in exchange. Open one of those books back there and tell us what it says. Uh, sorry to put you on the spot like this, my friend. The exiles indicate the books in their possession. All right, let's fucking do it. That's a book. And a yeah, lone minstrel. Side door. If I run, I couldn't get very far. Rickety ladder. Raymond's minstrel. I guess it's time to go for the book. One of several such heavy, ominous volumes. The exiles you met seem very interested in them. You pick up one of the old and heavy volumes, bound in materials you do not recognize. Ooh! Ooh! Forward. A formal welcome undersigned by the eight scribes. You, dear reader, are an exile of the downside, such as we, the eight who wrote this book of rights. That you possess it and have capacity to glean its words is testament enough to your potential. Thus, we reveal a path from this forsaken place to freedom, a homecoming in glory. The stars themselves shall be your guide. Ere the turning of the years for solstice, seek the nearest lo longitude beneath the brightest of eight as they align as shown. Arrive as a triumvirate, clad in the raiments of the rites, bearing this book. Oblige the voice that tells you more. Ooh. Alright, this is pretty dope. Oh, well, it would have been easier to read than the previous or whatever. Fine. Okay, well, this is what we got. The book describes a, comp a complicated method through which exiles can return to the Commonwealth. The words swim through your mind as Hedwin gets your attention. Well, friend, uh, what does it say? Then your vision starts to fade and blur. You feel your body weaken and give out. Oh, hangover. Okay, so we have the we have the rare superpower of literacy. Oh, 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 oh. Dare you tamper oh. with forbidden knowledge? I, I was ta I was tamper so soon uh, after your sentence uh, into exile. Oh, oh, uh, uh, it is true uh, what the book says. You can be free again. That's good to know. Thanks, man. Perhaps not you yourself. What? But someone worthy of the privilege. What? You witness now the path toward salvation. I am. I'm very. You witness. I'm very. The rights. I'm very happy that I. Uh, oh my God! We're fighting on the book. Glory. Whoa. Though in your case, I hardly think it possible. Yeah, fuck you, buddy. Yet, by the grace of the scribes, it is my duty to inform you anyhow. Want to dance, bitch? It worked. So it is true. Uh, yeah, but what now? And where'd the reader go? You should be out there still. For now, we have to put our faith in him. Okay, so this is like a Fire Emblem thing, where I'm like a tactician who's gonna guide them. He could abandon us. He won't. Look upon the three of them from beyond as Hedwin calls out to you. Reader! We aim to free ourselves. We will not grow old and die in the downside. And now I swear to you, when we get out of here, you're gonna come with us. But first we need your help. Show us the way. Freedom. You focus all your mental faculties to do as Hedwin asked. Okay. A celestial orb falls from the heavens when the time is nigh. Well, here I am. Exiles got the orb. conduct the rites as a triumvirate, for they must prove their trust in one another, not just in themselves. Wait, is this soccer? The three must act as one. Oh! <laughs> Now plunge into the pyre with the orb and be <laughs> Yes, the exiled rookie has the way of it. Whoever steps into the flame is banished for a time. Okay, so you can't score the same guy more than once. Cohorts must make do on their own. Oh, but it is not so simple. In 
the rights you shall face adversaries whose own freedom is at stake. Okay, so there's like a zone control beware thing. The aura that surrounds them, as they shall beware yours. Makes sense. Okay, so you just fucking the ice aura people. Is your wrongdoing? Accept it as a part of you. Okay. Cast your aura like a stone. So. Okay. Okay. I'm. I'm. I'm into this so far. Again. Just so. Just a so. glorious performance, I admit. Okay, this is making More sense. More than I expected from the likes of you. Why are you trashing me so much, more. man? The orb absorbs the aura. Uh, then okay. the orb quenches the flame. So. Now I say jump. Leap with all your strength. Oh my god, it's just it's just magic soccer. Ruki's back. Now snuff out the adversary's pyre whilst yours yet burns. Okay. Oh. I didn't mean to throw the orb. Whoops. I guess now it makes sense. Banishment. Fuck you. <laughs> oh my god, it's really funny. <laughs> Too bad for that one. Get in there. Okay, it's not too weird so far. Stand not in glory's path. Boom, laser beams. Boom, laser beams. Boom, laser beams. Good. Oh shit. Trade? Oh, okay, so you can't trade like that. Somebody get this the orb. Is bringing my fucking League of Legends instincts back into the forefront. A blow against the adversary. All these skill shats. Skill shats. <laughs> oh, so close. So close. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here too. Get the fuck out of here. Oh. I'm trying to finish the quest and I got myself murdered on accident. Yosh! Okay. I guess he, his his was combined with his friends. Didn't see it coming. And in we go. The right is complete. All right. There, dear what the reader, fuck is this game? <laughs> I like it, but... Or do you? Do I? I don't know. This was but a glimpse of that which lies ahead. Oh, uh, well, you mean a tutorial? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> down your hope. I'm not casting down shit. You but need to get on you, the fucking level with me. You never listen. No, I'm not, because I'm a PC. How about that? Okay, so that's really not what I expected, but I guess that's Super Giant Games for you. The others are still picking themselves up as you awaken. <laughs> Well, that was something. That was our way out. So now we just follow the stars or what? Supposedly. Reader, come, let us regard the night. Jodariel leads you outside. 
where a clear night sky awaits. Now, show us, before the howlers catch our scent, where shall the rites commence? You gaze at the stars and seek out your destination. We will seek out our destination next time on Pixel Pals. Thank you. See you guys. Bye.